Jane and Nechi Ikeze. Today, the 30th of May, we commemorate the lives of brave Biafran soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice in giving their lives for our freedom. We should also take this time to remember those who perished, innocent people who perished from 1966 to 1967 in the pogrom. Most times when people talk about the war, it's only referred to as the war from 1967 to 1970, and they forget about the pogrom that led to the war in 1966. We should also pray for the souls of those who have been lost in recent times. Innocent protesters have been killed, unarmed protesters. You don't have to live through a war to know the cost of war. Many children were orphaned. Many children were killed. Many children were taken outside of the country for their own safety by foreigners and most likely never to return to their homeland or know their history. Weapons of war were not just in military form. Starvation was used, pillage and rape of women. Many till today bear unseen scars. Do you know how many how many brave and brilliant souls we lost? Most of those men were conscripted. Many of them lacked prior military experience. Yet they fought on bravely and sang along. Their only weapons being the spirit and the fire in their soul. But there are no memorials for them. None. What about the ones that actually survived the war? There are many of them out there till today. They survived the war. And they are living in abject poverty many of whom are disabled. There are no pensions for them. Let us not let the deaths of those brave men and women be in vain. You may kill the person, but you can't destroy the spirit. And the spirit is what lives on, and that is why the struggle will never die. To all my fellow Biafrans, Call home and reach out to those you know who survived the war, especially those who fought for us, and let them smell their roses while they're still alive. We appreciate their service. God bless us all.